Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at the function of a function, aka chain rule. Um, but obviously we're going to look at integration, not differentiation. Um, this is going to help you with some of the more challenging integration questions that you have. Um, to introduce this, I will just refresh ourselves on the chain rule with a differentiation. So we're going to look at the question 3x plus 1 outside of or, or the power of 4. So we looked at this question and you're asked to find dy dx for whatever purpose it asked you to find it. Um, you know, if it was to the power of 2 we might get away with expanding the brackets but to the power of 4 it's just too difficult. So we use the rule, the chain rule, which meant we took the 4 down in front of the brackets like we would normally do with any other um, differentiation rule and then I subtract 1 from the 3 just like we would do there which is differentiated the function. But now we also have to remember that there's a function inside there, 3x plus 1. We need to then times that by the derivative of that function, which is 3. Which gave me a complete answer of 12 outside of 3x plus 1 to the power of 3. Okay, um, Just like we've been doing, that's, you know, that's pretty basic stuff. So what we'll be learning to do is if we're given a question which has these brackets here and we're asked to integrate, we can actually integrate and go back to what we had originally. Or if it's an actual integration question, it allows us to find the area under, underneath the curve or a more challenging curve. So how do we do that? Well, just like we've worked out with our other integration skills, we're just going to work backwards. Okay. One of the last things that we did here, you can see, is we times it by this 3, which came from the derivative of these brackets. So what we're going to do when we um, integrate it, we're going to divide it by the 3. And then all the other rules sort of um, play out as it has originally. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it, because I think you know, the way I do it is pretty quick. So you might be given a question, and remember the, like this, it might be written this way, um, 12 outside of 3x plus 1 cubed dx. <clears throat> so what we need to do is, well, first of all, this is an indefinite integral because there's no x values there. All right, so we're just going to come up with an expression for the inter integral. Um, so the way I do it is this. We always add 1 to the power there, we know that. So I've got 12 outside of 3x plus 1 to the power of 4. But remember, we then we then divide by the 4. Okay, Same rules we've been doing for all the other questions. But our function of a function had that times 3 in there, which is the derivative of the brackets. So I'm just going to do the opposite of that and divide by the derivative of the brackets. So the derivative of the brackets here is 3. We know that already. So I'm simply going to divide it by the 3. Okay. In fact, what we can just do is times those together. So what that will give me is this. 12 outside of 3x plus 1 to the power of 4 all over 12. Let's make sure we put that plus c in there as well because this is an indefinite integral. Now you can see the 12s will cancel out. So I'm left with 3x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus c. Okay, and look, that's what I've got up here. Okay, we've done it. So it actually wasn't that hard. The only extra step that we're doing is timesing the denominator by the derivative of that function, okay, inside the brackets there. Um, if it's an indefinite, then obviously we've got the plus c. If it's definite and you have values here, then of course we can apply that um, that definite rule that we had before. So it's pretty straightforward. So let's have a look at a question here. Now again, this is an indefinite, okay, indefinite integral. It's very important to see if it is definite or indefinite. You clearly you can see if there's no numbers there, it's indefinite, but it means you have to put the plus c on. So let's integrate it. 5x minus 9 to the power of 4, because I've plus the 1 there, and then I'm going to divide by the 4. But remember, this is the chain rule. So we now need to times it by the derivative of this brackets, which is going to be 5, plus c. Okay, then simplify it, simplify it, 5x minus 9 to the power of 4, all over 20, plus c. It is as easy as that. Okay, like taking candy from a baby. All right, nice and easy. Um, the next one, now this is a definite integral. How do you know the difference? Can you tell? We've got the 3 and the 1 there. 
okay so I'm going to put my square brackets because we're going to be actually finding the area beneath this curve 3 minus x to the power of 8 so a bit more challenging um, integration but not much more 3 minus x brackets the power of 9 because we plus 1 then we need to divide by 9 and then times it by the derivative of those brackets which is negative 1 close it, put my 3 and my 1 there, and we're nearly home and host. Let's just simplify up a little bit. 3 minus x to the power of 9 all over negative 9. Remember, you don't have to put the plus C there because when you do the actual calculation with the B minus A, the two C's would cancel. Okay, so where do we go from there? Okay, simply substitute now. Okay, so we've got 3 minus 3 to the power of 9 all over negative 9. Look, if you know what 3 minus 3 is 0, you can just put 0 straight up. I'm just showing you the 3 substituted, that's all. Um, but certainly if you know it's going to be 0, then you can just put 0 down. Um, 3 minus 1, the power of 9, all over negative 9. Okay. Now, put that into your calculator. It ends up being 0, take away, um, take away, So take away, take away, um, and it's negative, so negative 56.89. So this is put point 0.9, which is going to equal 56.9 units squared. Um, so again, pretty straightforward. Um, you could leave it as a fraction there if you wish, but um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, but remember, you have to go ahead and put the 3 and the 1 in there because that gave it to you in that question. All right, um, the next one, now this is going to be a pretty tough one. This probably would be a last one, to be honest with you. It's, it's not a really a difficult concept. Um, the only thing I would suggest here is, I've said to you before, if you get it in a third form or a fractional form, um, just rewrite it using either negative or fractional indices. So I'm going to use this to the power of a half, dx. Now you notice there are no values for the B and the A here, or the X values, so if, therefore it's an indefinite integral, so it's going to be a plus C. Okay, um, alright, so let's go forward, a bit more challenging this one. 4X plus 3 to the power of, or 1 plus a half is 1 and a half, or 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2, but I need to then times it by the integral of <coughs> so the, the derivative of 4x plus 3 which is 4 okay so I'm left with 4x plus 3 to the power of 3 over 2 divided by well 3 times 4 is 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 okay now remember I said to you same with the differentiation if they give it to you in third form it's a really good idea to put it back into third form um, which I am going to do which I'm going to put my square root sign and it's going to be 4x plus 3 to the power of 3 all over 6 okay um, which you could put it 1 6 etc if you wish but Make sure we put that plus C on the end of it as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Okay, so look, guys, that's pretty much about it. Um, it's not particularly challenging the chain rule. It's just the opposite of what you have been doing. But again, it gets gives an added extra to your questions just to make it a little bit more challenging for you. Um, look, hopefully that made a bit of sense and uh, you found that as easy as it probably should have been. Um, you can go ahead now and do exercise 3.5. This is from the Red Book. Um, that is on page 102 for my uh, year 12 math class. Have a great day, guys. Uh, yeah, hopefully you're getting stuff right.